Welcome to the Mantles 100 coverage at the PDAC 2024 here in Toronto, Canada. We have uh, here today with us the first phosphate. How are you doing, John? Yeah, doing great, Gilbert. Thank you for having me. Yes, uh, thank you for coming in to share your story with us. Maybe just start off by talking about uh, your overview of your company, First Phosphate. Yeah, so First Phosphate is uh, perhaps one of the only companies in the world that's fully dedicated to extracting and purifying phosphate, but specifically for the lithium iron phosphate battery industry and not for fertil fertilizer as is traditional for, for, uh, for the phosphate industry. So we're really into high purity phosphate technological material for LFP batteries. So let's talk a bit more on the LFP market, the batteries, because it's different from the typical batteries like Tesla use it. So tell us a bit about the market size now. Yeah, well, in fact, now, you know, Tesla has now moved 50% of battery production to LFP. Um, LFP battery, many people don't know this, but it was uh, in the first two quarters of 2023, it was 66% of battery output coming out of China. So it is really the trend that we saw this trend early. Um, and we've been positioning for it for the past two years. So LFP battery is really the, the battery of choice right now globally for a few reasons. Obviously, it's, it's, you know, it's um, got better fire safety and it's also less expensive. And uh, let's talk a bit about your property, your project in Quebec. So how's the jurisdiction, how's working there in terms of uh, infrastructure and about other things too? Yeah, so the, the important thing about phosphate is, you know, phosphate is an industrial material. It's almost like moving gravel. So you're moving large quantities of it. You know, it's almost um, igneous phosphate is about $500 US per ton. So you have to move a lot of it in order to, you know, um, uh, make, make your revenues. So you need to be close to infrastructure. So we're very lucky that at the port of Saguenay uh, in Quebec, we are, our, our, um, our, our property that we're working on right now is 70 kilometers from the deep sea port. We have another property that it's in a PEA stage and that is 150 kilometers from the deep sea port of Saguenay. So we have access to the port. And then at the port of, Sa of Saguenay, we've got infrastructure where the second battery valley of Quebec is being set up and more specifically for LFP battery. Uh, what is also great is that this uh, hard rock uh, phosphate, which is amongst the purest phosphate in the world, is devoid of cadmium, uranium, thorium, mercury, arsenic, and very low in the sulfides. So it can produce a lot of purified phosphoric acid. And purified phosphoric acid is the precursor for LFP battery. So we've got the right rock, but more importantly, in the right spot around the right infrastructure. We've got uh, hydroelectricity to the property line about five kilometers away. We've got um, also um, paved highway, and we've got a lot of workforce in the area. And it's an area where the aluminum is already coming out, out of uh, for North America uh, from, from Quebec. And it's got great direct logistics, uh, rail, uh, right to the uh, Autoland heartland of North America, that is uh, Win Windsor Detroit corridor. So a lot of great infrastructure in the area that we're picking, piggybacking off of. So John, so when investors thinking about investing in the junior companies, so we talk about location, then another important part is definitely management team. Can you tell us a bit about the background of your management team? Yeah, so the, the management team, what I like about this project is, you know, I'm, I'm the, the largest investor. Um, and I liked it so much that I wanted the company to go well that I thought I'd take on the role of uh, a CEO myself just to make sure that our investment is protected. Um, all of our boards of directors and um, all of our employees are well invested in the company. Uh, you know, just our, our board and management is probably about 30% uh, of the stock filed on SETI with our friends and family. You know, there's, it's a lot higher proportion. So it's a fairly tightly held uh, company and everybody in the company believes and has invested their own capital and their own time. What I like about our board um, and also about our management is that we're very diverse. We have people that are from technology world, from business world, from capital markets, um, from you know purified phosphoric acid side, some from the major project side, indigenous uh, affairs. And so we've got a very diverse uh, board and management because the uh, modus operandi of our company is to get from phosphate rock all the way to the production of LFP cathode active material and LFP battery cells. Not that we're going to do all of that on our own because it's a lot of capex, but we have some of the, the leading partners in the world um, partnered in all of those segments. So because of that, we need an expertise in, in our management and in our board that understands all the, 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 the steps in the, in the supply chain, because of course, we have to stand up the LFP battery supply chain in North America for the first time. It's, in, it's a kind of a you know, once in a lifetime uh, opportunity here. So let's talk a bit about the share price. So, so the company has a bit of a correction in recent months. Any reasons why? 
And do you think this is a sort of a, we call it undervalued situation for your company? Yeah, absolutely. As you know, right now, the, uh, the mineral space is a little bit difficult uh, in the capital markets. Um, all the companies are not trading uh, that well. But obviously, this is a good time to, to purchase shares of, of companies that you feel have value. Um, you know, if you look at our company, for instance, we've raised about $17.5 million Canadian in the past two years. And our market capitalization is about $17.5 million. And we have uh, right now about $8 million uh, in the bank. We're doing a massive drilling program where we're uh, uncovering a very big area of phosphate where we know the phosphate already exists. We've done 4,200 meters. We're doing another 25,000 meters. So, I mean, a lot of value creation coming, coming down the pipes this year. And you know, great value for the stock, um, given just the, the general market conditions, the general market malaise that there is out there. Um, the fact that you know you could find some great companies, so maybe your spectators, uh, you know, will have a look at First Phosphate and other companies and uh, do what they they think is best. But uh, great bargains out there, I believe, uh, in the market, and hopefully you will think that uh, First Phosphate is one of them as well. Sure. So, so what are some of the milestones or news flows so investors should be looking out in the next twelve months? Yeah, so uh, right now, like I said, we're drilling uh, 25,000 meters um, to uncover the phosphate uh, body that's very close to the port of Saguenay, 70 kilometers from the port. Uh, we'll be releasing our drill results here in the next uh, four to six weeks. All that drilling should be done um, in the next uh, two, two months um, in total. So that will really ex expand um, our, our, our resources. And then also, you know, we continue to work with our downstream supply partners and our offtakes to fulfill the need for uh, LFP cathode active material. Great, uh, John, so thank you for your time. Thank you for sharing your story with us here today. Thank you, Gilbert, always a pleasure. Thank you.